when I got the news, I guess my heart just sank. Um, I thought, uh, man, how can this be happening? I knew the state had uh, tremendous budget issues and that the university and the Board of Regents had been asked to um, make some tremendous cuts. But never in my wildest dreams did I think elimination of 4-H and closing half the county extension offices in the state would be part of that. When I first heard about Georgia 4-H funding being in jeopardy and the program possibly getting cut, um, it came as a complete shock because it's been part of our lives um, for years. When I first heard that Georgia 4-H might be cut in the near future, my first question was why would they want to cut such, such a great organization where you can meet new friends, learn life skills, and even dances such as the Kai Nai Joe, the Watermelon Crawl, and Cupid Shuffle. When I found out that 4-H had been cut, I was very sad because we are products of the 4-H program. I can't imagine my childhood and youth without 4-H. As interim state 4-H leader, I, I certainly felt a tremendous amount of responsibility and uh, was unsure at first if we could make this, this thing work and if we could turn this around. Uh, I joked with a few people, man, you know, this thing's 106 years old. It's going to take me seven months to destroy it. We actually had our first kiss at Rock Eagle. No, 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 no. It was Camp Wasega okay. on the steps of the cabin. Okay. Probably when we should have been somewhere else. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Young people, 4-H members all across Georgia, set up Facebook pages and began to email their elected officials. And uh, they wanted to know what they could do to help turn this uh, uh, issue around. When I first saw the re reaction, I was proud of how all Georgia 4 Hers were standing up for something that they believed in. We were very pleased to see the groundswell of support um, that 4 H received when the word got out that 4 H was possibly going to be cut um, through social media such as Facebook and emails and Twitter. Um, the word got out very quickly um, to the 4 H community, former counselors, former 4 Hers. Mm -hmm and they really got behind the cause, contacted their representatives in their districts and let them know how important 4-H was, um, not only to children, but also to the adults that have been involved in the past and also to the community that it affects. The people of Georgia literally saved the Georgia 4-H program uh, this year. Please continue to support Georgia 4-H because it is teaching youth such as myself life skills that we will carry on for the rest of our life and we hope to pass down to our kids and even their kids. I'm Arch Smith, a Warren County 4-H'er and currently I serve as the Interim State 4-H Leader and Director of 4-H at the University of Georgia and I am Georgia 4-H. I am Georgia 4-H. I love Georgia 4-H. Let's keep Georgia 4-H. And I am the future of Georgia 4-H.